Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Farmhouse Suicidal. And today I'm, uh... Not feeling great. Honestly. Um... I don't know, it, it just... Like, I, I feel sad today, you know? Today's a sad day. Not Nothing really... Much... Has happened. It's just kinda... Like... All of it <laughs> is, is just kind of overwhelming me at the moment. Um, like, I don't know. It's just, it's just like a few things just kind of didn't go so hot today. And uh, it's, it's just, it's just, you know, with, with everything that's kind of... I don't know. Everything else that's kind of going on in my life as well that I was handling before and then a couple of things just kind of minor things that shouldn't really matter that just kind of go wrong just kind of overwhelms you and, and I, I, I kind of don't know how to handle it and I just want to cry honestly um, so what happened like I said it's just minor stuff that just kind of it's a straw that breaks the camel's back you know um, so we had um, dessert today. My mother made a, uh, like, bread pudding kind of thing. Call it Jiffy Pudding. I don't know what it's really called. Um, but she, like, made it different, and it sucked. It was gross, and I was really excited about it, and then, like, it was just gross. Um, and so I didn't really enjoy it, and I was, like, excited about it, and it didn't work out. And, um, then my headphones, for some reason, I have, I have Sennheiser RS-175s. Um, and on the, like, the, the dock thing that they go on, they're wireless. For some reason, the, the light was flashing on and off red, so I don't know if they're gonna die, or if they're having problems, or if I'm gonna have to, like, buy a base station, or, like, new headphones or something again soon, like, I don't know. And that kinda has got me upset. Um, and then it's Saturday today, and Saturdays just kind of always suck. Because I have to be at home with my parents, and I just, I hate that. Um, fun's coming. And, uh, yeah, all, all of these things that, they, you know, on, on any other normal day would have not really been a big deal. I'd been like, whatever, I don't like dessert, that's fine. Or, oh god, my uh, headphones are dying, that kind of stinks, but, you know, they're working right now. And I have, uh, I have a backup earbud, so it's, it's not the end of the world, but it's just like... I don't know, I've, I've kind of been feeling down lately, um, in general, and then today just kind of not a fun day, and I'm just like, yeah, I just kind of want to cry now, you know? Um, so that's kind of where I'm at today, you know, is uh, at a point where I just kind of want to lie down and cry. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to do after I finish recording these episodes. I don't want to be too depressed on camera. That's the other thing, is I'm, like, recording, and I'm, like, depressed. <laughs> and it's, like, I know it's not good content, but I want to I want to make the content. And then that kind of gets me down, because I know I'm, like, not letting people enjoy the content they watch. Not that anybody's watching anymore anyway, but I, ju I, f I still feel a certain responsibility. A certain quality that I want to kind of maintain, and I'm, I know I'm not doing that today. I'm just too depressed to care. And that's kind of got me also feeling down. It's just, it's not, it's not a good day. It's not a good day. And I mean, the thing with, the thing with this kind of depression where it just kind of all piles up on you, it's not like I'll wake up tomorrow and feel better either, you know? Like a lot of the times you have a bad day and you're like, whatever, I'll go sleep it off. Tomorrow will be a new day and a new me. But it's like, it's not really like anything super bad happened today. It's just kind of the circumstances of my life just kind of stink back in the game. and um, I wish they didn't I really do but there's not really any way I can resolve it you know like the the solution for me this the solution to like all of my life's problems right now is to move out because because really at the, at the base of it all all of my depression stems from having to put up with my family every day so if I move out, bippity boppity, don't have to see them anymore, problem solved. 
<laughs> you know? It kind of solves it just on the outset there. I get to have a, a much more relaxed life without all this stress and anxiety and all, all the, the bad feelings that come with having to see my family every day. Um, who I don't really like. Um, so, you know, move out, get rid of it. But, you know, moving out isn't... I can't just, like, go do that. You know? So that kind of, like, also sucks, is I know the solution to my problem. It's just completely unattainable for me. And then I know the, the like, long-term solution is for me to stop putting time into YouTube and go get a job and save up and move out. I know that's the, the responsible thing to do, but then I just, like... I'm not gonna feel happy if I'm if I'm not doing the YouTube thing either. So it's just like, where do you where do you really get off? Like, where do I win? You know what I mean? I don't really have a, I don't really have a, a winning outcome, and that that's that's the part that always sucks when you have depression. For me, anyway, is when you just you can't see a way that you achieve like happiness. You know what I mean? When you can't see it. When it's when it just seems so f such a far-fetched idea that uh, that you'd never be able to get there, no matter no matter how hard you try, no matter how you know much you you, you put into to trying to be happy, you just you, you can't foresee it. And, you know it's obviously there, right? I can obviously be happy, I can succeed, but I can't see it, and and that sort of just it's it's just a very despairing feeling. That you're just going to be kind of stuck like this forever. And I know I'll get better in, I don't know, sometime. It might even be better tomorrow once I wake up, but... I'm not as confident with that as I am on other days when I have bad days. Because, again, it's just, like, tomorrow's a Sunday. I'll probably be, Honestly, I'll probably be better on Monday when I wake up and nobody's home. Unless somebody is home. Then we're going to have, like, really depressed me. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, uh, we're, these, these episodes aren't going to be short. We're going to do the full episodes because, uh, I don't know. I feel better talking about it, so I'm gonna do that. Um, but uh, on Monday, if if it's for some reason a day that my like mother or my father are home, they're they're gonna be short episodes and they're gonna be bad episodes because <laughs> I'm gonna be like insanely depressed if uh, if they're still home on Monday. Tomorrow we'll probably still be depressed because it's Sunday and they're still home, and then Monday I'm expecting to not be so. Uh, I'm expecting them to not be home, so if they are, it'll just be, like, the worst feeling. Yeah, moving out would be the solution to all my problems, you know? I just I don't have the money for it. And I don't really have any way to get the money for it. You know, even if, even if my YouTube stuff were to pop off and I were to reach my goals of, like, 500 American dollars a month or whatever that I need to, to be able to get by, which isn't much, it's achievable, um... Even if that happened, it's not like I can move out immediately, you know? I, I have to put money away for a while and save up and, and make sure it's a responsible decision to actually move out. You know, like for, for me to move out to like, you know, within the next month, I'd have to suddenly come into like $20,000 or something, right? And uh, I mean, that's just not very likely. That's not That's not a likely scenario to happen. The only, the only way it would happen is if, like, something I really don't want to have happen, happens. Like, my grandparents dying or something, you know? Like, in that situation, sure, maybe I get the money to move out, but... I'm not really sure if I'm achieving happiness through that at that point, you know? i definitely do it, because otherwise I'd probably just kill myself at home, but... Um... Like, is, is that really the, the situation that you're hoping for? Not really. It's not really the way out that I kind of want to... to have happen. Let me have that. Let me add him. You own the money. Now spend it. This is annoying me. Okay, don't buy armor. It's important that we don't buy armor. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's just how I've been feeling today. Hopefully you guys have been having a better day. Hopefully. I should really get a therapist. The thing is, is again, it's money. You know? Like, how do I afford a therapist? I don't have a job. I have, I have like, some income, but not enough to afford a therapist. Okay, 
Damn, the right decision is to just give up on YouTube and go get a job. That would be the best for my mental health, for sure. I just, I really don't want to do it. I haven't even been doing anything on YouTube. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, today's just a depressed day, you know? Yes, you can. Don't even. I don't know. I think on on occasion, you know, like you know, how how should I get the money to move out? You know, because again, that's that's the root of all my problems is that I live at home still. So I have to put up with my parents every day, and it sucks because I don't like them. <laughs> Um, so if I can move out, then then problem solved. But then I just like I don't know. I get stuck. You know, I I think you know I want to find some some sort of job to to work from home or something. You know, maybe get into transcription or um, data entry. Something along those lines. You know, something where I can work from home, make a decent salary. The the hours are pretty. You know easy um part-time hours you know enough to, to survive on like comfortably um some, something like that is, is is something that i've thought about i just i've i've looked on occasion too i've i've definitely looked and it's like because i could do that you know like honestly one of the big parts of working for me is if i go get a job at like mcdonald's or something like that right i'm gonna end up working like three or four days a week for you know, four or five hours. So that's, you know, like 20, 24 ish hours a week spread out across three or four days. You got an hour of prep work to, like, get ready for work, showering and doing your hair and, you know, all that kind of stuff so that you're presentable to go to work. So that ends up being, like, you know, an extra, like, we're at five hours, like 20, like 30 some odd hours a week. And then you got, uh, you know, the commute, which is probably another hour there and back. And then, you have your wind down time afterwards um, to kind of like, you know, get back into comfortable clothes, relax after work, maybe make something to eat or whatever. You're looking at like a lot of time just to go do a four hour shift. Um, so, you know, 20 hours a week ends up being like 30, 35 hours of actual time invested per week into having the job even though I'm only getting paid for 20 of them it's just there's all this time to get ready for work and then come home from work and get to work and you know all that kind of stuff so if you work from home you get to kind of like shave off almost all of that because on most days I don't really have to like I mean, like I shower almost every day anyway but like when you when you're getting ready to like go out or something like that it just it just takes longer right when I shower at home I go have a shower and then I don't like I just toss my hair in a towel and just leave it you know when i'm going to work i have to like blow dry my hair and brush it and comb it and you know all that kind of stuff right and that takes a lot more time um so i just uh you know being able to, to stay at home and not have to worry about like most of that stuff the commutes all the the extra getting ready stuff um it's just, it just it seems like a much more manageable thing right so I've been, I've been thinking about it. I just every every time I look at these these work from home jobs, they're like, hey, uh, we're looking for somebody with at least two years of experience. I'm like, I don't have I don't have any ex like I need to get a job to have the experience. Like, I can do it. I I've been doing you know this stuff for a long time. I just not not a professional you know, data entry. I got that covered, dude. I can do that. I know how to work with Excel and, you know, databases and all that stuff. Like, that's fine. I can do that. Like, whatever you want me to do, I, I, I can figure it out. I'm, I'm very technologically literate, you know? And I type very fast, so I'm, I'm a prime candidate for, for this job, but... Um, I just... Uh, it's hard for me to... To do it, you know. It's hard. And I'm just depressed. Cause I don't have any. I don't have any options. There's no. There's no possibility of me getting that money. 
I don't know, maybe I'll go win the lottery or something. But then, like, you know, you, you, you think about it, and that's, that's like, a prime way to get started on, like, an addiction, you know? A problematic addiction, throwing all your money away to the lottery. It's tempting, though, right? Like, I, I can, I understand why people play it, because you just, you're in a terrible situation, and you just, you want, you want a miracle to happen. You're like, I can't see any way that we get out of this besides winning the lottery. You know? Like, that's the only solution that I see. And to me, right now, it is. You know, the only solution I see is that I win the lottery, but... Logically, I know that I'm not going to win the lottery, and I, I know that there's going to be another solution eventually, so... I'm not going to go do something that stupid, but... I don't know. Sometimes I want to. I know a few people who have won the lottery. Actually, like a number of people who have won the lottery. It's crazy. Just nobody in my... F well, actually, no, people in my family have won. Um, I think. But, uh... Nobody in, like, my direct family, you know? Nobody who, like, would change my life if they won the lottery, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not that I, like, want them to. I, I, like, it's, it's kind of the same thing, you know? Like, I don't want my family playing the lottery either, because it's, it's the same thing. You're just losing money. You just, you, you want to win the lottery, but you don't want to, like, put in the investment into it, you know? Because it's, it's dumb. You know, it's called the idiot tax for a reason. Don't play the lottery. Um, but sometimes I, I think about it. I hope I never do it. If I ever do, I want somebody to beat some sense into me. But it's a, it's a tempting, it's a tempting thing, you know? That, that's what they do. They got this team of psychologists out there who are just working together to tempt people like me into wasting what little money they have left. Meanwhile, people who have, like, all the money you're buying, you know, tens of thousands of tickets and winning the lottery. <laughs> and, like, almost all the time. Um, you know, they, they tip the scales in their favor, and then all the people like me are going out there buying lottery tickets. Not that I am, but, you know, people like me, and, and you know, peop well, people slightly dumber than me, I guess, uh, are going out there buying uh, lottery tickets and feeding these people who, who, who have a lot of money to, to afford, you know, tons of lottery tickets just feeding them more money you know it's you just you're just building up the uh, the reward for for somebody else to win that's all you do my my favorite part about the lottery tickets honestly is those like scratch off tickets and when you when you get like a, you won a new try, I'm like, no, no. I uh, I, I my for my I believe like 18th or 19th birthday or something like that. Um, my mother bought me a scratch off ticket because like I don't know, people are addicted to the lottery for some reason. They just they they feel like they have to throw all what little money they have at uh, at other people's wallets. Um. So I got a scratch off ticket, and it was like, um, and it was like, and, and I won a, uh, won a new try, you know, I won, I won a free scratch off ticket, and people were like so excited, they were like, you won, you won, let's, let's go get a new scratch off ticket, like you won, I'm like, no, I didn't win, okay, this, this isn't winning, it's just come to the store, get another scratch off ticket so you can see whether you won or not, like, you didn't win anything. You just, you just wasted your time. But uh, some reason it makes people think they won. And that's why they put them in there. Because it, it doesn't cost them anything, right? They can load as many of those in there as they want. It doesn't increase your chances of winning at all. Not in the slightest. That flesh pound didn't know what hit it just now. Very Not nice even one. like a little bit. It's just a waste of a ticket. It's just like, ha ha, try again. Like, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Um, it's dumb, dude. Well, people got so excited about it. And I'm like, why are you excited? Like, why are you freaking... Like, I didn't win. But it, it works. <laughs> it gets them. It tricks them. It really does. Really? I've never seen this.
You you go inside? Oh, she was on the other side of the Oh, that's cool. I didn't think that would hit me, honestly. I don't know why I continued to stand there after I knew it would. Okay, that one I, I take uh I take issue with that one. No, don't do it. I don't know. I might edit the uh, the Minecraft videos tonight. Cause I haven't been doing that. Getting that done would be would be good for sure. Something to keep my mind occupied, I guess, at least, right? It's always good. Be productive. When you when you're depressed, I think I think my um. Jeez, dude. My uh, my advice to you when you're depressed is be productive. I know it's hard. Like, I am currently depressed right now, as we speak. I don't know if you noticed. This episode wasn't exactly the, the height of happiness for me. But just uh, just be productive. Keep your mind occupied. Don't let yourself get uh, drawn into the the spiral of despair. Just Just do something, you know? You know, you won't feel better, but time will pass, <laughs> at least. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to more in the future, comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.